Happy first day of spring. I hope you're all enjoying this day. Um, in Michigan right now, it is snowing. Uh, we got about an inch and a half of new snow last night and uh, in on it today. So not exactly spring-like. And because of that, that, I just decided to stay inside and make some really yummy artisan bread. And that is my cheddar and jalapeno artisan bread. It is so good. It's full of flavor, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, perfect for dipping on those nice hot soups on a cold day like today. Doesn't feel very spring-like, but it is oh so good, and it's good for any time of the year. So let's just head on to the kitchen. To get it. started, we are going to do a little bit of prep work, and we are going to dice one jalapeno, and we're going to slice one jalapeno. Right now, I'm just um, deveining and deseeding this jalapeno. All I want is just the jalapeno flavor. I don't necessarily want the heat, so I'm taking all the seeds out. If you want a little more heat, just feel free to leave those in. And I'm just gonna dice this up into a nice fine dice. This is going to be the jalapeno that goes in the actual bread itself in the dough. And then this one, we are just going to slice into nice thin slices. This is actually gonna go on top of the bread and bake into the crust. And I like to be a little bit extra and I'm taking the membrane and the seeds out of the rings as well. Next, into a medium bowl, we're going to add three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. and our diced jalapeno pepper. Then we're just gonna give that a nice mix and make sure everything gets coated in the flour and it's getting all mixed in nice and well together. Into a larger bowl, we're going to add two cups of warm water and one packet of instant yeast, or you can use active dry yeast. You just wanna let that sit for just a little bit longer. I'm just going to give it a little stir to get everything starting to bubble up here. And then we are going to just add in our flour mixture that has our cheese and our jalapenos. And then we're gonna give that a nice stir. We want everything to get nice and mixed together to where there's no flour visible. And then we wanna gently fold this over on itself about 13 or 14 times. Just wanna lift and each time that you're mixing it in, you just wanna turn the bowl a little bit. It's making sure to scrape the bottom and get everything nice and mixed together. You don't wanna over mix this dough that you it's not like you're trying to knead it it's going to be a very sticky wet dough as you can see here and then you're going to cover that with some saran wrap or plastic wrap and then put it in a nice warm place for one hour and then once that hour is gone you're going to take off the saran wrap you're going to again fold it on, in on itself about eight to twelve times just making sure to gently lift and pull from the bottom And then we're going to recover that, put it back in a nice warm place. And then we, it's time to get our Dutch oven ready. Into a preheated 450 degree oven, you are going to put your Dutch oven. You wanna do this at least 30 minutes before you're going to put your bread in the oven. You're gonna get a piece of parchment paper that is big enough to overlap on the Dutch oven. And here I am just uh, lightly um, flouring the surface, getting ready to pull out the dough. And you definitely wanna make sure you flour your hands for this, cause this definitely is a sticky dough. Just 
gonna dump that out on the counter. And then you just want to gently fold it in on itself a couple times so until it forms a relatively um, uniform ball. Um, it's not going to stay because I mean it's going to just want to spread out on itself. But you're just trying to get it to, to take the form of a dough ball. But like I said, it's just going to spread out. That's just the type of dough it is, but this is going to come out perfect. Even if it feels a little off because it is a wet, sticky dough, this is going to be great stuff. So, getting it onto the parchment paper and just going to get that all situated. And then I'm going to put that into the Dutch oven. Pull that out, out, out of the oven. And it's going to be very, very hot, so just be careful. And just slide that in there. Make sure all the, the paper is overlapping on the outside so it makes pulling that bread out really easy. Then I'm just going to take my sliced jalapeno slices and put that on the top of the bread. Just trying to make it look all fancy. Then I'm going to sprinkle that with a little bit more cheddar cheese. I'm using about a quarter of a cup here. And then I'm going to put the lid on. And into the oven, this is going to go for about 30 minutes. And you definitely want the lid on. And then 30 minutes later, you're going to take that out and you're going to take the lid off. And it's already looking delicious. And then you're going to put that in the oven for another 20 minutes without the lid. And once it is done... Okay, first thing, my kitchen smells amazing. Second, this looks so good. Mmm, it's perfection. Just going to take this and lift that out of the pan. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? That looks so good. Like what is not to love about that? This is going to be so amazing with the soup that I'm cooking today. Get a little slice here. And it is perfection. It is crunchy on the outside. It's got that nice crunchy crust and it's soft on the inside. Oh, so good. Yum. All right, guys, that is my jalapeno cheddar artisan bread and it is so good. It's got the soft, inside with the crusty outside it is perfect all by itself but it's also amazing dipped in uh, soups and stews which is what i'm going to do tonight um you simply have to make this one this one will not disappoint mm. so good, so good. Mm. the jalapeno and the cheddar just balance each other out it's not overpowering it's amazing just go ahead trust me make this one if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would absolutely be amazing i have more great content where this came from and as always i hope you all have a fabulous week and i'll see you in the next video thanks bye